Linda, first and foremost, thanks for setting down with me today. Obviously, we're going to be speaking about Black History Month, and I just wanted to start by asking, you know, what the month represents to you and what it means to you. Thank you for having me. Uh, what Black, Mo Black Month History means for me, uh, it's just, it's time to remember what it means to be African and celebrating and appreciating all Africans who gave us a, a better opportunity. And I think we're looking at the, the theme of this month and it's about sort of celebrating people that are part of your community and something that you touched on there before. And I just wanted to ask, when you were sort of growing up, who were the, the athletes or, or the women that you looked up to growing up that inspired you to be what you are today? The people I looked up to uh, was Benny McCarthy, uh, Stephen Pinar, mainly because I resonate with, with them. And it's more of football side mm -hmm. than anything. They, they played in South Africa and they wanted new challenges and they went abroad and they played in the Premier League and they did so well. And I think I can resonate with them when it comes to that. You said Stephen Pienaar there, and he's obviously played for Everton, Sunderland, and he came over here and he played in the South African national team for, for many, many years. And when we talk about inspiring, inspiring people and inspiration, you're someone that also is doing that now as well. But do you feel like a, a role model for people at the moment? Uh, I would say yes, I feel like a role model. And me playing football, I'm not doing it for myself only. I'm also doing it for young kids who are growing up and just encouraging them to play football. When it comes to being a, a role model, as you said, that you feel like you are one now and you've, you've played in two World Cups now, you've scored in the World Cup, which I'm sure is great fun. Um, but how does it feel to be a role model? Because I assume when you're growing up and you're loving football, you want to play football, it's maybe not something that's not at the forefront of your mind, but over time it does become. So how does it feel to kind of be where you're at now and be that role model? Honestly, I don't know how it feels to be a, a role model, but uh, for me, it's just putting in the work all the time and not taking anything for granted and just doing what I love. And yeah. And you're still playing for the national team, obviously, when you go back um, and you play in the national, you're one of those players that has done, you know, you mentioned players before that have came over, played in Europe, played outside of South Africa and, and shown that there's a pathway. Um, how important is that for you that, you know, you're showing there's a pathway both in South Africa, outside of South Africa, and that professional football is something that can be achieved for young girls and young boys. I think that comes with the fact that in South Africa, there's no uh, professional league. So for me to come this side and also perform in the national team, it's, it's just encouraging young kids that as much as we don't have that enough resources in, back in, in South Africa, we can still be able to perform at the highest level. Perfect. And thanks very much. Thank you.